In this photo are the 11 camp assistants, including Christoph Baiello and Joseph Limbaya, one of two nurses who observed firsthand what was taking place at Lindy. According to Joseph, Paul Osterith, the lab's head of virology, was in charge of killing the chimpanzees. Joseph describes what he did, Bayelo what he witnessed. Their two accounts reveal that the Lindy staff systematically harvested organs from the camp's chimps. So that's how it was, like this day in Lindy, filmed by a team member. What Joseph and Bayelo revealed was that some animals were dissected alive. And the main reason in those days for harvesting living organs was to make tissue cultures needed to make the polio vaccine. Jacques Kenyama and Philippe Elibé both worked in the Department of Virology with Paul Osterith. Au département de la virologie, on fabriquait des vaccins parce que après la fabrication, on met dans les des flacons de 50 ml et on met des étiquettes aussi. Ce n'était pas une chose à cachette. Il y avait des étiquettes et on avait écrit aussi les vaccins anti-polio. Il y a vaccin à côté la monoco. Il y a il y a malade ni. Mais so que au taille de près ils a coquille que ça la vaccin ils a qui ou quoi que ça la vaccin à poliomyélite. Il y a pas un ami que. Bien vous voyez pas qu'une ni casse. Paul Osterith refused to speak with us, but he was categorical in his public denial before the Royal Society when he stated, it never would have occurred to me to risk human life and my own reputation on material prepared under such primitive conditions. I categorically deny that I ever did that. Gaston Inan was also at Camp Lindy. 
He was a microbiologist who took part in the vaccination campaigns in other parts of Africa. Edward Hooper first interviewed him in November 1992 and recorded the conversation. It was the virus was cultivated on kidney cells, chimpanzee kidney cells. At this time, the tissue culture was made in bottle like this. Yes. Comes out, huh? And this was at the beginning because uh, the kidney cell and the chin kidney cell mm. multiply, uh, multiply easily. And it was a good substrate for the polio virus. Oh, I see. So this is quite extraordinary. Now, in the end, he always retracts the chimpanzee kidney cells and just says, I don't know which type of monkey kidney. But the point is, he repeatedly says that they were making it on chimpanzee kidney. I had no choice when I wrote The River but to accept his retraction, to accept his final version of events. And Gaston Hernan is now dead. But I believe very firmly that the original version that he gave me was the correct one. The few remaining records from Camp Lindy make it clear that exams and organ extractions were conducted in a very systematic fashion. While Kaprowski and Osterith insisted that they would never use chimp kidneys to make polio vaccines, research at the time pointed directly to the chimpanzee. From 1953, Alexander Jazirsky, a veterinarian known by Kaprowski, conducted research in eastern Congo on behalf of the Pasteur Institute. He was looking for the best medium to use for the polio vaccine. In his comparative study of all African monkeys, chimpanzees topped the list. The chimp, always the chimp, genetically so close to humans. Were they used to create the vaccine given to a million African people?